Hey guys! So, on this windy, windy morning, we are going to talk a little bit about if you should start out being a back-end developer and then go, go into front-end, or if you should start with front-end, or like kind of how, how to start your journey into front-end development. So let's get into it. Now, this was a great subscriber question that I got just yesterday, actually, at lunch, roughly. And the question was basically kind of coming from one of, uh, well, someone who's been around for a little while and heard me talk about various things. And I thought that I, I should touch on this because this is, this is actually a great question. Now you've heard me rant on, it's, I don't actually know how we got to a point where I spend so much time talking about front-end development, but it seems to be very popular. And I kind of figure that it would be because, you know, JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, and so forth is a little bit sexier. I'm sorry to say it's a little bit sexier than uh, than Java, C Sharp, and C++, and so forth. You know, just, it seems that way anyway. But this question was because this person had talked to a developer friend and had kind of been told by this friend of his that when it comes to front-end, it's very chaotic, it's a much more fast-moving environment, and it's a, like it's working server-side, it's much more stable, and it's like a little bit easier and so forth. And this is very much in line with what I've been saying as well. This is the lay of the land. Nothing moves as fast as JavaScript in programming. There's no other language that is that chaotic and has that many new tools coming out and different practices and all these different technologies and so forth. And it's a very loaded question to ask whether or not you should start on the server because it's, it, it kind of entails something. And it entails that in order for you to do front-end well, you have to already be a back-end developer. And if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, yes. Yes, I believe, and I'm certain that some people were going to dispute this, but I, Frederick Christensen, believe that you will be a better front-end developer if you already are a back-end developer. In other words, if you are a full-stack developer, you are going to be a better programmer just in general. And I hope that we can all agree that knowing both sides of an application is better than just knowing one side. But that's not what people are going to want to hear, because we have a army of people out there on the internet who think that by simply learning the stuff that seems to be, because let's face it guys, most of the people who come in from the UI perspective are very in, like the idea of being able to make graphical interface and all that stuff, that's what they are passionate about and that's great, but the problem comes when they kind of realize that that's just half of the puzzle. And I explained to this subscriber in my answer, reply in the comments, I was saying that Let's fundamentally ask, what is a front-end developer? A front-end developer is not just somebody who is going to do the UI. In other words, if you are just working on the UI, in other words, you don't do any server-side whatsoever, then per my definition, you are a web designer or a designer of some sort. You are focused primarily on that aspect of the, pro of the, of the, of the whole interaction between your application and your user. That's fine, there's no problem with that. But that does not me mean that you now have the skills to become a software engineer or a programmer or something of that nature because you don't understand the most fundamental part of a web application. A web application is made of two parts. It's made by a server, uh, the backend, and then you have a user-facing interface. That's the client. Now, you can have a backend without the frontend, but you cannot like, have a front end, and you know, in the, it wouldn't be a really good web application if you had a front end and no back end. You know, they, they kind of are intertwined. You need both in order to create a web page or a web application. And that's why I think it's so weird that some people are, it seems like they always try when it comes to front end, they try to avoid working on the server. And I kind of go, it's, to me, it's the weirdest mindset that you can possibly have because that is like saying that, yeah, I'm. Um, I want to build houses, but I don't want to build the whole house. I just want to do the interior decoration. That's it. And then I have to talk to somebody else to build, you know, all the other stuff because that's not so interesting. And having that mindset, it's, it's kind of weird. And I can tell you right now that it is absolutely 
feasible for you to not start as a server-side developer and then go into front and go into front and you start on the front end front end and that's and then you're go maybe you're super talented maybe you already understand how the server works but i really feel that it's kind of weird that you don't have an interest or rather that the because it, it's going to limit you it's going to limit you a lot because if you only understand JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, you will not be able to produce a web application. It's that simple. Or rather, the, the thing that actually is the web, the network, like the actual sending of files and routing and all that stuff, that's just a mystery to you. And if it's just a mystery, mystery to you, then, then I'm sorry, then I, ca I, I cannot look you in the eye and say that I think that that's a good choice. I, 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 I personally don't believe so. I'm not saying that you can't do it, I'm just saying that I don't think it's a good choice. So, on the other hand, I don't think that you should just be a purebred backend developer either, because like, you can. I mean, this is actually much more common than having, like, if we consider how many people who consider themselves backend developers in comparison to frontend developers, it's fairly clear that there is there's quite a lot of people who just like to work on the server of things. And as a beginner, I will, I will make this claim to you, because that's why I don't like this term front-end and back-end. Like, because you don't really understand, to me it's, it's something that makes it very hard for you to understand what's important. As a beginner, being a full-stack developer is the best option. It's the only option, because in my personal, personal opinion, if you only understand one side of something that has two sides, then you will, never, you will always be half a developer. Now, what I think some people don't understand is that, yeah, you're a backend developer. That means that you only know the backend. That's not true. My coworkers, like I'm a full stack developer these days. That's what they call me anyway. My job title is that. And my coworkers who have been working, most of them have been working server side their, their entire career. They've been working in Java and like the enterprise for most of their career. C Sharp, .NET, all that good stuff, right? They never ever ever worked with React or Angular or Frontend or anything like that. They work with that on a daily basis. Why is it so, I, I don't get why people get it into their heads that just because you work primarily with one thing or you're specialized in one thing, that completely nullifies that you know anything about anything else. Now, they may not have specialist knowledge or the sort of knowledge that I have who have been working primarily on the front end, but that means that that's, that's the part of being a team, guys. I have a coworker who is an operations guy. I can do almost everything that he does, but when it's really tricky stuff with operations, he comes in because he's extra good at that. Same thing for me. I know all the stuff that for the server. Like I work on the server as much as I work on the front end. But when it's a really tricky problem, when they need some extra, extra know-how, that's when they ask me to take care of it because I have more experience. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you only understand one part of this, you are never going to be as good as you can be. So start out by being a full stack developer so you actually understand how an entire application is built and not just one part of it. You have to understand the whole thing. And then you can specialize. So learn the server and then learn the front end because it's going to make you better. Have a great day.